Good evening, everybody. It's Beck. How are you this evening? Now, I'm coming live to you doing my Lumi because number one, it is that time of night. But number two, I'm also talking skincare. Because I have a lot of people say, where do I start? What do I need? How do I get started? And now this can relate. Yes, I'll be showcasing my beautiful new skin products here. But what I say could help you with whether you can afford our new skin products or not. So hopefully it does. So another reason I like to do this when I'm using my Lumis Bar is because it tells me when I've been for two minutes. So now the first step in any skincare regimen is cleansing. Now you should do this at least once a day. All right. I usually always do it up in the evening before I have my shower or in the shower, depending on what I'm doing. Um, and often I will also do a little gentle cleanse in the morning when I first wake up from sleep, partly because it kind of helps wake me up. But another reason is that it's just a really good, um, it's a really good, uh, <laughs> what am I trying to say? A really good routine to get into for your skin. Now there are many different types of cleansers. Okay, so this Lumi Spa, the creme de la creme of cleansers. It's not just cleansing my face. At the end of this two minutes with the Lumi Spa, I will have had my face cleansed as if I'd been to the beautician. They've done a double cleanse and all sorts of fabulous things. So it's really, it stimulates the cells, it clumps the cells, um, it helps pore size. There are so many benefits. I won't talk about them now, but there are more basic types of skincare. I've got to swap hands. Um, where are we? So we have our regular, just everyday skin facial cleanser. Now I have this one. It's an anti-aging one because I am 48, guys. Let's be honest here. And I use this if I'm in a really big rush and I have to get in the shower and out. And I just, I know you might think, well, if you don't have two minutes, because this only takes two minutes. But if I'm in a really super duper rush, and I can't afford the two minutes, and I really want to give my face a good cleanse, then this is my go-to. It's just beautiful. It's actually really affordable for an anti-aging cleanser. And I often use that one for my morning cleanse if I'm doing a morning cleanse. So there are many other cleansers. Um, I can't, hang on, I'll pause that. I forgot to open my little bag here. We have, if you're looking for something a little more affordable, like you don't want to spend a lot, you just want to try our products and see what you think. We have our beautiful Nutrisentials range. This is part of our minis range, but we um we have our Nutrisentials range, which is a botanicals range. It's a lot more affordable. Um, none of it's specifically targeted for anti-aging, but anyone of any age and any skincare can use this. We have a few different types for different skin, like whether you've got oily or dry. So yeah, we do have something for you if you don't want to go and spend the big bucks on the Lumi Spa or something a little more. You can try us out by using the Nutrisentials range. They're really good. And I don't know if you can still get the minis, but let me know if you'd like to try them. So that's cleansers, and you should do that every night or if you're a night shift worker do it in the morning before you go to bed getting rid of that day off your face okay because even here on the farm i'm not in amongst the the buildings in the city but i'm still collecting dirt and dust and pollution on my face but if you wear makeup and everything it's even more essential to cleanse your face properly and no makeup wipes don't do the job okay so what do you do after you've cleansed your face you um you need to rinse, of course, and you need to tone your skin. Now, a lot of people skip the toner step, and yeah, that's okay, but I really want you to make sure you have really rinsed all your cleanser off your face properly. If you're going to skip that toner step, it's even more important to tone your face properly. The toner has a couple of really important uses, okay? It helps... It helps get rid of the last of the cleanser off your face, but it also often captures anything you might have missed in the cleansing process. So you'll notice if you use a, a toner on a little cotton pad, you'll notice that um, there will quite often still be a little bit of dirt coming off on it. So toner can be really, really important. It cleanses, it finishes cleansing. It often closes your pores and it, um, sorry, I'll just dry off here. And it also gets your face ready for moisturizing. Now, if you are like me and you're into the 
full regimen, your next step is a serum. So what does a serum do? A serum is like a pre-moisturizing, a pre-nourishing. So you can get serums for all different types of things. They all have really fancy names and fancy ingredients in them. But the main thing you want to look out for is whether your skin can handle some of those ingredients. I had a lady recently say, I've, I've been using this serum and my skin's reacting to it. It wasn't one of ours, but it had a high content of, I think it was retinol in it. And retinol is a really strong, strong ingredient. So you have to be very careful what you use. Um, not every product is going to suit every person. So serum, most of the time, as we get into our anti-aging routines, you'll want to use a serum. Um, so you've cleansed, you've toned, you've put your serum on, then you come in with your eye cream and there's all different sorts of eye cream as well. You can, you, you can get eye creams now for bags under the eyes, for wrinkles around the eyes, for dark circles. They just, the list is endless. Now, really important, eye cream, always use your little fingers or your ring fingers and you don't want to go in under the skin unless it's specifically designed for that but come around where your cheekbones are just on the top of the cheekbones here and also along the top of the brow bone because that moisturizer will creep its way in okay you don't need to put it right around the eye or on the eyelid eye cream's not designed to be used like that so we've got cleanse tone serum moisturizer and then what we're going to do uh, serum and eye moisturizer and then we're going to come in with our facial moisturizer now this just finishes it off and there are so many different moisturizers one for the night time and if you can one for the daytime with sunscreen in it i know a lot of people don't want to wear sunscreen but i've got some pictures to share with you this month about people who put sunscreen from here forgot to do here and it is crazy so if you can get a moist day moisturizer with sunscreen don't forget about your neck and your decolletage and at night you need something a little more nourishing to really get into your skin and hydrate overnight so as i've been showing you i've been using this beauty this is our uplifting cream and this one <laughs> I can't believe how amazing. This has lasted me two months, this tiny little pot, and I've still got a little bit left. Um, it's really, really great for rejuvenating your skin. It does give it an uplift, and it does have a lot of goodies in it. Susan has a great video, so go find the guide on the uplifting cream. <laughs> Susan's posted a video there that tells you about how it helps rejuvenate your skin from pollution and everything else that's going on with your skin. So those are the five, did I say five steps? Cleanse, tone, serum, eye cream, and then moisturizer. Five important steps. All right. And I have a lot, a lot of different ones I can um, suggest to you if you'd like to try. If you want to just go with your basic cleanse, tone, moisturize, that is fine, guys. You really need to look after your skin. Once you hit your mid-20s, your skin kind of starts to go downhill. Okay. Your collagen stops producing as much it stops repairing your cell turnover slows down all those great fun things that help us age and there are so many things we have that mean you don't have to go get the botox you don't have to go get a facelift we will age there's no stopping it but we can age gracefully so thanks for listening and i also want to make a special mention to the beautiful gay who has herself a beautiful Luni spa io coming very soon i'm just waiting for her toner and moisturizer to arrive and then i'll deliver it personally so thank you to everyone that tuned in if you have a question please let me know because i really want to know what your questions are what you thought have you got some specific skincare needs that you'd like me to talk about just get in touch see ya